What makes one clipper better than others? Stay tuned, my friend. I got the answers locked and loaded for you right here in this video. And you know I tell you the truth. Let me break it all down. Why do stores such as PetSmart, Pet Value, and Walmart carry lower quality clippers? It's only because you are not their target market. And for that reason and that reason only, they bypass you in their marketing campaigns. But here's the deal. They do want to sell to you. You have to seek them out. I'm going to show you how to do that. So many clippers on the market today. How could you know how to find the best dog clipper to purchase? What features are essential for trying to find the best dog clipper for your pet? So you can find your favorite dog clipper without running from store to store. Countless hours on Amazon searching and comparing products that are falsely marketed towards people who don't even know what they need in a pet trimmer. I've been where you are and that is why I created this video for you today. Thank you for joining me. I am certified professional pet groomer Amy Lee and it is absolutely my pleasure to share with you the secrets of the grooming industry so you can provide quality care for your beloved pets at home. Let's get to it. Everything you need to know about clippers. Now I've thought a lot about this and I came to the conclusion that it would be a good idea to visit the stores available to you and see what they suggest, what they have to offer you. What clippers do they stock on their shelves? Because quite honestly, I feel like the stores you trust are trying to sell you inadequate equipment through marketing techniques that will not set you up for successful grooming at home, my friends. I care too much about you and your pet to ignore the fact that the big stores you trust may not have your best interest at hand, only concerned that you make the purchase. Dog clipper types, brands, and quality. Let's start with brands. Now the industry leaders are Andis, Oster, and Wall. But let me tell you, there are other clippers that perform well and cost less for the home groomer. I also want to remind you that depending on what type of coat you're clipping and what type of work you're looking to do, you may not need to purchase professional top quality pet trimmer. Stay tuned, I have other options for you later in this demo. However, if you're clipping a heavy matted coat type, you may have no other option but to spend a few extra bucks to purchase a clipper that can handle the job. And I know you want to have success, so give yourselves a pat on the back, my friend, because you did click on the right video. So you may have noticed, why are the brands available to you in stores different than the models the professional pet groomers are using? That's simple. Pet groomers have insider information and resources that you don't have. You see, they are already perfectly positioned in the industry to purchase products and equipment directly from the best suppliers in the industry because pet groomers are their target market. Now with that said, here's something you didn't know. You can purchase the same products and tools from the top leading industry manufacturers as well. How did you not know this? It's not because those companies don't want to or won't sell to you. It's only because you are not their target market. And for that reason and that reason only, they bypass you in their marketing campaigns. But here's the deal. They do want to sell to you. You have to seek them out and reap the benefits from the products that they sell. I'm going to show you how to do that. Stores such as PetSmart, Pet Value, and Walmart carry lower quality clippers made by these same manufacturers. I mean, you trust these stores and assume that they have your best interest covered, right? Wrong. They simply think that you will not purchase the higher quality product. So they provide you with product that they believe fit your price point. In turn, compromising the work you would produce trimming your dog or cat at home. Now that's why you need to stay tuned because I'm taking you to Walmart, PetSmart, and Pet Value to compare the options that are available to you from these trusted sources. Will any of them offer you a great product or are they simply providing you an option just to get the job done? Let's move on to the next topic. Why do clippers have more than one speed? A couple reasons for that. The first one is clipping on a lower speed will not allow your clipper blade to heat up as quickly as it would if it were set on a higher setting. More friction. It's safer. You actually may need to purchase a two speed clipper for that reason. As a novice groomer or somebody who grooms their pet at home, you may want to clip on the lower setting, the slower setting, because naturally it will take you longer to groom your dog 
than it would a professional who grooms on a daily basis. As a novice groomer, your clipper will be running for an extended period of time and your clipper blade absolutely will heat up and it could burn the skin of your dog. That's the concern. Unless, of course, you're using snap-on combs over the blade, then the blade doesn't have any contact with the skin whatsoever. Other than that, you are at definite risk of causing harm to their skin if your blade is hot and you don't realize it. So checking your blades very important, as well as using cool care to keep your blade cool and clean and lubricated. I definitely suggest a two-speed clipper and starting on the lowest speed, clipping at home or new to grooming. Which leads us to the next topic to understand, strokes per minute, also known as SPM. All clippers perform the task of trimming hair, but there is an important factor that determines that particular clipper's ability to perform well. And that factor is strokes per minute, SPM. The ideal strokes per minute for clipping a dog with a thick coat or a matted coat or heavy coat is 3,000 to 4,000 strokes per minute. You may notice that most clippers share their SPM in the details of their product descriptions. However, when we look at this clipper on Walmart's shelf, that info is not listed on the box. Instead, you will notice an illustration such as this on the packaging to indicate the performance you can expect from that clipper. The reason the strokes per minute is not listed and an illustration is there instead because that clipper model was designed and marketed for the person who knows nothing about clippers. And in the case of this particular clipper, it's priced at $41.97 and I guarantee you will not be happy with the results that it produces. And here's why. The blade's not detachable, which means you cannot change the size of the clip. But more importantly, the permanent blade size on this clipper is a number 10. A number 10 blade is not ideal for trimming the coat of any dog because it leaves no length of coat. That gives a whole new meaning to the term shave down. Why would Walmart encourage you to purchase this clipper for your pet? In my opinion, it's because they believe you're not going to successfully give your dog a haircut in the first place. They don't want you to spend too much money because that only adds to your disappointment. You already had an unsuccessful groom. Now you only spent $41 instead of... And the little comb attachments provided with this model would work fine as long as your dog was perfectly prepared and prepped before attempting to groom it. But the truth is, most people don't have the knowledge or the setup to achieve proper bathing, brushing, and drying. Therefore, this clipper choice would be a total waste of money and you would spend all day trying to trim your pet only to have to call a professional groomer to finish the job appropriately. Okay, moving on. Does the weight and the shape of the clipper matter? You bet it does. I've used many makes and models of clippers over the years. Heavy or oddly shaped clipper will definitely affect your ability to properly groom your pet. Clipper's too heavy, it will tire your hand or your wrists. If it's oddly shaped, it can prove to be hard to maneuver and uncomfortable to groom with. Clippers can be annoying to your pet also. For instance, too much vibration can cause your pet to fear the clipper. It's important to choose a clipper that has a soft vibration level and noise. Therefore, my best clipper recommendation for you, my friends, would be the Andis AGC two-speed clipper for the novice groomer or the home groomer and the Wall KM10 for the pet groomer or for the intermediate groomer at home. As a detachable blade type clipper, that gives you the versatility to choose your blade size or use quality snap-on comb attachments to groom your pet. And this clipper type offers consistent power to the clipping blade. And the two speed option is a must for the beginner groomer, but also the price is decent too. So here I'm just gonna say it, the best detachable blade clipper on the market is the Wall KM10 hands down. Let me share with you what other professionals have to say about it. Let's roll it. Wall Professional Animal, manufacturing top quality professional powered products since 1919. 
As a professional groomer, this clipper, the KM10 by Wall, is hands down my favorite clipper. I remember when this first came out, and wow, did it change things for me. Oh, absolutely. And the same with me. I have been grooming over 40 years. I hate to admit that, but I actually have, and I feel like this is the clipper that I've been waiting all this time for. Yes, that is so true. Yeah. So unfortunately, part of our job as professional groomers involves pelt removals, really bad matting scenarios and we we need something that will just power through those and I have found that this clipper is exactly that and it does it quietly it does it efficiently uh, it's just a beautiful beautiful clipper when it comes to that hard work oh absolutely and you know again not wanting to really mention my age but you know if you're doing this for any period of time Man, the, some of the equipment that's been out there over the years really takes its toll on you. Yes. And I find that if I pick up any other clipper, I have fatigue in my hands. And this clipper, I can get through an entire day of grooming without having to worry about that. It's just so balanced. It's so easy to maneuver in your hand. It's so. It's actually the lightest weight clipper on the market. Yeah. Oh, I noticed that right off when I picked this up. It looked big and I thought, okay, this looks like a power horse clipper right here. But you pick it up and you're like, wow, it's so lightweight. Right and so quiet and that is such a plus for me uh, my expertise is with cat grooming and that the quietness of the clipper is critical really for me being able to do my job uh, you know safely as safely as possible and i love also that it thinks for us that constant speed control so when you you do hit those rough patches or those thick tight uh, matted areas it automatically kicks up the speed and the torque on that and it's plows no right bogging through. down yeah. oh yeah it's like butter i say it's like cutting butter yes yes yeah. <laughs> it does it really works fantastic and i it, for me like there's no other clipper on oh, the market me either plus i love the color yeah right i, yeah, I linked that video in the description below if you'd like to go check out the full testimonial to tell you a little bit more about the wall km10 but that's my choice guys and you know i tell you the truth next topic the sound of the clipper. Does it matter to the dog? Heck yeah, it does. Remember that dogs hear a frequency range of 40 to 60,000 hertz. A human is 20 to 20,000 hertz. Because of this, dogs have a difficult time with very loud noises. Sounds that may be acceptable to you can be very uncomfortable to a dog. Yet another feature that makes a dog's hearing superior to humans is their ear muscles. The anatomy of a dog's ears and key to their better hearing is the 18 more muscles that control a dog's pina or their ear flap. These numerous muscles allow a dog to finely tune the position of his ear canal to localize a sound, hear it more accurately and from further away. With that said, the clipper you are using to trim your dog needs to be quiet and as smooth running as possible, or it will be a complete annoyance to their ears, distracting them from the task at hand and encouraging their behavior to be unpredictable and possibly unworkable. So yes, the noise your clipper produces is a factor and it's one that needs to be weighed when purchasing a clipper. Next subject, why are some clippers brushless? What does that mean? Brushless is good. Brushless clippers such as the Wall KM10, they require no maintenance on the motor at all. They're virtually just kill proof. They're the best. It's the best. Candace makes some brushless clippers as well, and so does Oster. But you just want to make sure that you're choosing a brushless clipper because... Did I say that right? Brushless, not brushless. Brushless clipper. Okay? That's very important. Um, it lowers your maintenance. It's a very strong motor. It's just... it's The motor has evolved. Thank goodness. What's the difference between a clipper that requires brushes and a brushless clipper? If the motor upkeep is not met on a clipper that requires carbon brushes, it can slow down the performance of the clipper. Your clipper can overheat. It can completely seize the motor of your clipper. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that means it's over. So that's why I just choose to say, let's just go with brushless clippers. It's, it's better, guys, honestly brushless clippers <laughs> moving on cordless clippers are they better than corded clippers 
Are cordless clippers worth the money? Do they clip as well as a corded clipper? Cordless clippers, typically they're more expensive and they're heavier in your hand. However, they carry certain advantages above corded clippers, such as convenience of trimming your dog anywhere, outside, on the go, to a show. But aside from that, I see too many disadvantages to using professional cordless clippers. They cost about three times as much as a quality corded clipper. They are much, much heavier and bulkier to work with in your hand when you're working. And replacing the lithium rechargeable battery costs Oh geez, it costs around $100. I'm very happy with my corded clipper and I see no reason to spend the money on a cordless model, but that's just me. That's my preference. I'm not showing dogs. I'm not in a position where a cordless clipper would severely give me an upper hand. So if you're clipping in a shop at home, I'd say a heavy duty cordless clipper. Ah, uh, no, I say no. You can do what you want. Next subject, five in one cordless clippers. Not the same as the cordless clippers we were just talking about. You know, we've got the Wall Arco, the Wall Brevera. These are wonderful, wonderful clippers. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Just so you know, these types of clippers are a great addition to your daily pet grooming. But there are limitations that you should be aware of. The Arco, the Brevera, other 5-in-1 cordless clippers are designed for face, feet, sanitary trimming. They were never meant to be used as a solution to all your pet grooming needs. Dogs love the comfort and the quietness of a 5-in-1 clipper that they produce, especially when clipping the face, feet, and the sanitary areas, you know, those areas that dogs are sensitive to. They're a very quiet clipper. It certainly is an asset to have one. It's great to shave the face on a poodle or a spaniel. It's nice and quiet. It's easy. It's comfortable. However, keep in mind, it's only a luxury to your grooming. It's an added expense. You can achieve all your pet grooming needs with a good detachable blade clipper, such as the Andes, the Oster, the Wall models, preferably Wall. Even Conair has some decent models on the market, but it has to be a detachable blade type of a clipper, guys, to do the whole job. A good all-in-one detachable clipper is what you need. The five-in-one clippers are really just a luxury. They are more comfortable to the dogs, especially around their face and their feet. You'll find that they tolerate the five-in-one clipper much more. The blade is is so much more tiny. It's it's just it's quieter. It's a smooth little, nice, soft little clipper. And dogs love it around those areas, but you cannot groom a full dog with that type of clipper. It's just not powerful enough. All right, are you still with me? Can I have your attention, please? I have an announcement. I have a request. Before we head out on this shopping spree in search to find what clippers are available to you in the stores you trust, I want you to do one thing for me right now. Because we all come from different locations all over the map, and I love that, and we're all right here right now, together, please leave a comment below stating where you shop for your grooming supplies, for grooming products, grooming equipment, grooming tools. Where do you shop for that? Whether it's online or at a store, or both. Sharing this information in the comments will help all of us determine to roast or boast the options we have to choose from. Let's talk about it. Start putting those comments in there, guys. Let me know where you buy your products. Let me know where you buy your products. Let's go. Let's go shopping. First stop, Walmart. Let's go in here and see what they have to offer us, guys. Well, we look right here, we see for $30, we've got an adjustable blade, not a detachable blade, clipper, so that means we must use snap-on cones. And here again, for $42, same thing. And for $60, same thing. We have a non-detachable blade, and we must use snap-on cones for any type of clipping, unless we're going to shave our dog with a 10. And we're not going to do that, because remember, we don't shave our dogs with a 10 blade. And that is the blade that comes equipped on all these clippers that I'm showing you right now. This is what's on the shelf at Walmart, guys. Now, a couple of these clippers did have, they were a five-in-one, you know, so you can adjust the blade. But the lowest 
The most length that you could leave is a tent. Of course, they provide you with these very chintzy snap-on cones. I'm telling you, they're not going to get through the coat. They're not going to do the job. So that is the only way you can leave any length on your dog. When I say length, I mean even like a quarter of an inch of length. Now this guy right here is heavy, it's loud, I guarantee you. It's obnoxious, the sound, your dog's not gonna like it. It's very awkward, look how big it is. It's not going to be a wonderful clipper to use on your dog. Plus, it's not a detachable blade. It's not even worth the money. So Walmart, we're out of here. Next stop, let's go to Pet Value. I love this store, so I'm anxious to see what they have on their shelves. I have trust in this store. I come here for Gus's food when I buy him kibble, and I come here for a lot of things. And I also love their bathing situation for dogs. They have great products. Great products, guys. Pet Value? Absolutely. If you want to go there and buy products, you can trust that the products on these shelves are great for washing your dog, brushing your dog, bathing your dog. I'm just wondering what we're going to feel about the products that they have to offer as far as clipping our dogs. Now, they've already set us up for success when it comes to bathing, brushing, and feeding our dogs. But what about clipping our dogs? What if we need to depend on them to provide us a good clipper? What are they going to give us? I mean, look at this bathing sprayer. It's wonderful. What about clipping? I want to clip my pet. I have one choice, actually two choices, but only one that can do the job. It's a Conair. Conair is okay. This is not so terrible. It is a detachable clipper. It does have some snap-on comb attachments, which is nice. It's solely dependent on the snap-on combs that are provided in this package. Non-detachable blade, is it worth $75? Absolutely not, guys. And this is the only clipper that can do a full groom. This one here, this clipper, no. This is much like a five-in-one. This clipper is only going to take care of your sanitary, the pads of the feet, you know, maybe some face trimming. It, it's This is a wimpy clipper right here. And it is 50% off, however, it should be. It's $62.99, no thanks. Neither one of these clippers are gonna get the job done guys i'm telling you right now i had a lot of hope for pet value because i love this store but they really let me down as far as clippers go so pet smart here we come let's see what you have to offer us this is another great store they do have a ton of products they offer grooming services which is wonderful but right outside of the grooming salon is their grooming products and i think that's perfect i think this is ideal now they have some pretty decent choices. Look, we have an Andis two-speed powerful clipper to choose from, but they offer it to us, guys. It's here. They have the two-speeds Andis. They have a Conair. They have detachable blade clippers, guys, many on their shelves. That means they know what we need to do the job, and they're providing it to us. I am so happy to see this. PetSmart, I didn't think you were going to be the one. I thought it would be Pet Value, but PetSmart, you nailed it. You provided us the options to trim our dogs at home. Now this Con Air model that they provide is decent. It's a detachable blade. It will work with all blades, Andis, Wall, Oster, you name it. So the Con Air that Pet Value offered us, no, we can't work with anything that we have, any of the equipment, none of the snap-on combs, nothing. But this Con Air, we can work with that. However, it wouldn't be my first choice. But Look at this. PetSmart even has the same options on their shelf as Walmart did. Even Walmart had more options than pet value. They even have cool care to cool your blade and oil to oil your blade. So, you know, I PetSmart A+. They've got everything you need here, guys, if you want to pay the price. Because I'm going to show you. We're going to hop on Amazon, and we're going to see what we can do there. But if you needed to go today and buy what you needed, and you couldn't wait two days for shipping from Amazon, go to PetSmart. From what I'm seeing, they got the goods. They got the beef. However, they certainly are charging top dollar for it, and so be it. It is what it is. It's pet smart. Every leash, every collar, everything you buy here, you're paying at least three times as much for it, and we all know that. But my point is this. We shouldn't be led astray when we go to the stores that we trust to provide us with the equipment and the quality that we desire. From what I saw today, guys, PetSmart nailed it. Now let's go hop online and see what 
what we can do with these products online because I'm pretty sure we can save money. What gets served up to us when we do a search for pet clippers on Amazon? Con Air and Generic Wall. Not happy. So let's do specific searches. And it's Pro Clip 2 Speed Detachable Clipper Blade. $124 and some change. What was it at? PetSmart? $220. Okay, looks like we're going to stick with Amazon to find the products that we need online, especially when it comes to expensive clippers, blades, equipment, and such. There's a reason why big stores are struggling to compete with Amazon, and unfortunately, it's our reality and their reality. But hey, guys, you know what? The better deals are definitely on Amazon, and sorry for you, big stores. Understandably, big stores have more overhead. They're not just serving a store up from a bunch of images on a computer. They got electric bills to pay. They've got employees to pay, benefits to pay. This is the world we live in. When it comes to clippers, guys, you're your best bet is to shop on Amazon. This video has helped you guys like it and share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to share more of these secrets with you.